I am a very strong advocate in the fact that we never want to take the joy out of learning anything. And joy isn't fun. Joy is that inner pride that comes from accepting a challenge and working really hard at it. I shifted a few years ago from the classic gymnastics floor routines to more relatable, fun floor routines. Our floor routines are not that well respected internationally in the elite world, but it is proven to be exactly what college needed. Numbers, fan bases are through the roof. They're bigger than better than ever before. I've been doing gymnastics since I was three years old. It wasn't necessarily that the Olympics was the goal ever, but that's kind of what was placed in front of me because that's what my talents were capable of. If I had a back injury and shoulder surgeries and it shifted to college gymnastics, my goal is after that because my body just couldn't handle anything else. When you're a gymnast, you peak when you're 16 years old. So if you kind of don't make that cut off for the Olympics, like chances are like the Olympics probably <laughs> isn't in your future. I had to give up like what ifs a long time ago and really fall in love with what I'm doing now and college gymnastics made it so easy. I came to UCLA to be their choreographer and their dance coach. They offered me the head coaching job. In my mind, a coach was tough-minded, relentless. They had all these coaching quips and phrases like, go hard or go home. And I was horrible and our team was not good. But I realized I had been trying to be somebody else. So I just went back to my roots and I thought, what do I bring to the table having had 17 years of classical ballet training? And I'll never forget a few years after that, uh, one of my seniors said, Miss Val, you have finally become a leader worth following because you are being authentic and true to yourself. I coach the person who is the athlete. I don't just coach the athlete. I look at them as a comprehensive whole human being and I work to develop them to be the best they can be in all of those areas, not just gymnastic skills. I used to wonder like why we continue to go when we know it's kind of over after this, but I think that's almost the beauty of it all, when you realize that you can't take anything in life for granted because it's not forever. This is it. I want to be free! The legacy Miss Val has created here has developed a culture where, she, I hate saying it, but it's like she's mastered not winning. People still came and supported and we didn't have to win to be seen. When we redefine success, where it's not all about winning, we will have healthier young adults.